Hi guys, again, hope you're all well and having a fab day as usual. So um, I'm just doing another video on my daily habits. So daily habits are very, very important. Um, my daily habits never used to be like they are at the moment. And um, if you've watched my previous video, um, you'll notice that I had a negative life. So the reason why I incorporate these new daily habits into my life is because they're very much needed, they very much work, and it really does set me up to have an amazing day. So firstly, I will get up at half five to six o'clock a.m. every morning. Now, I don't start work till half eight. I literally walk to work for half, and it takes me half an hour. Um, I do drive, I just don't have a car at the moment. So I didn't really need to get out of bed until probably about seven o'clock. Um, I would literally roll out of bed, um, have a bit of breakfast, you know, get washed obviously, and um, go to work, get ready obviously, and then go, go to work. But you, you don't really have a great day if you're just doing that and you're kind of existing. You don't really get much in your day. We all have 24 hours. Um, every single person has 24 hours in a day. It's what you do with them 24 hours, what counts, and how you can make a difference. So I've kind of changed it up a little bit. And so I now get up at half five to six o'clock every morning. Now, when it's winter, yes, it is a little bit tiresome and a bit cold, you don't want to get out of bed. Um, I get you, I really understand that you don't want to get out of bed. But, if you do the one, two, three rule, and you basically put your alarm the other side of the room, and your alarm goes off, and you think to yourself, right, one, two, three, jump out of bed, because as soon as you jump out of bed, you're out of bed. You pick up your phone, you turn, up, turn off your alarm, don't go back to bed. Worst mistake, because if you go back to bed and you fall back asleep, you feel crappy straight after really when you wake up so there's no no point to that so yeah i'll get up at half five six o'clock i've got more time to sort of wake up sort of be in the moment be a bit present and um get ready for what my day is going to be so i will literally like i say jump out of bed um i will then go downstairs and i will make myself a hot water with a slice of lemon in it now now I've started to put ginger in it as well because I know it's really, really good for you. And it flushes out all your toxins and flushes out everything that you don't need in your body, all your nasties. It really does work. And it makes your skin really glowing as well. So I'll have that. Um, I'll have a shot. Um, well, not of alcohol. Clearly not alcohol in that, that time of morning. I'll have a shot of my 34 Superfood blend that I literally can't live without. It's amazing. Um... And then I'll go back upstairs and I will do some yoga. And I said in my previous video that um, yoga really um, keeps me mindful, keeps me positive. Um, you know, it sort of makes me relax for the day. So I'm not stressed, I just feel really, really relaxed. So I'll do a bit of yoga. And the lady that I watch on YouTube is called Leslie Fightmaster. Absolutely fantastic. Um, really really good beginners and I keep going back to the beginning and you know I just I think it's just like a 30 day um, sort of beginners guide so I do that I keep going back to the beginning and eventually I will start going to classes um, but at the moment I'm you know YouTube is amazing so you can just watch on YouTube do it in your comfort of your own home spot on um, and then I will get ready for work, and as I'm getting ready for work, um, I will listen to a motivational video. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Jim Rowan or Tony Robbins, possibly heard of um, Tony Robbins, an amazing guy, he's so passionate, I love listening to him, and he's full of energy. So I'll listen to him, or I'll listen to like, especially someone like Will Smith, now he's, he's got it going on. He's really got it going on. Not only is he great eye candy, he is um, really, really good, he knows what he, he wants in life. He's, he's, he also studies law of attraction as well. Um, so I listen to anybody really that has a, something motivational to say. Um, gets me going for the day. Um, and like I said in my previous video again, um, the first 20 minutes of your day, um, the, sorry, the first 20 minutes of your morning, what you put into your mind determines how the rest of your day is going to be. So if you basically stub your toe in the morning or you're, you know, you wake up late, so you feel that anxiety and or that you've stubbed your toe, you feel a bit hurt, so you're gonna get a little bit pissed off. Um, it could 
your mood could carry on for the rest of the day. And if you notice that other things start to unwind and you have a bad morning, the rest of your day goes really bad. So if you start it with your best intentions to having a good day, positivity going in your mind, then you're gonna have a positive day. Like I said before, if you're gonna have, you're gonna get challenges, it's how you react to them certain situations which will determine the rest of your day. So I don't watch the news, I don't read a newspaper, um, I know what's going on in the world, but I leave it there and, you know, hope for the best and pray for them. Um, but yeah, so you don't want any negativity in your life to make you, you know, have a bad day. It's, it's not a good thing to start with. So um, that's what I do in the morning. I'll get ready and I'll go to work. So as I'm walking to work, like I say, it's only 30 minutes, if that, really, to walk to work, which I really enjoy walking anyway. Good exercise. You're out in the fresh air. You're with nature. I never thought I'd hear myself say that, to be honest with you, because I wasn't that kind of girl. But I tell you what, I'm a, I'm a change woman. Um, so on the way to work, I will listen to some kind of audio. I will listen to The Compound Effect. is a really, really great book. Um, if you haven't read it or listened to the audio, please do. It's really, really also changed my life. Also, The Secret. Um, I don't. I think most people have heard of The Secret. If you haven't, this is what I'm talking about. It's Law of Attraction. Um, this is the book, The Secret. I have personally read it, but what I have done is watch the movie. And the movie, for me, for me, when you watch something more visual or you listen to something, it, it sinks in better than it does for me to read. But I've bought the book as well and I have read it. Um, so I'll listen to an audio of The Secret. And you can watch it for your first time if you've never heard of Law of Attraction. Yes, watch the actual video, you know, look at the video. But when you watch it so many times, you can just listen to it because they're just speaking and that's fine. So I'll listen to that on the way to work and on the way back. Um, and then like I'll have my day uh, at work yes like I said before you get challenges you're always going to get challenges that is just life you know and life is a test and it, it's not always going to be rosy it's not always going to be perfect how you see it it's always going to be a little, little bit of a test and like I said it's how you react to them certain situations no idea what's going on in my hair right now it's looking a bit greasy sorry <laughs> but um but yeah, it's always going to be a test and it's how you react to them in certain situations. Um, yeah, so I'll have my day at work. I will um, enjoy my work because I'm lucky and I'm thankful enough to have a job. And you've got to be grateful, even if you don't want to go to work. We all have to work. Um, but just be grateful that you've got a job. Be grateful for the people that you work with and, and things like that, that, that pay your wages every week or every month, you know, you can buy the things that you want to buy. If you be grateful for that, grateful for the money coming in, you will be, you'll be getting more of it. If you're not grateful for the job that you've got and you hate going to work, then you're going to have a shit day at work and you're going to have all the shit that comes with it. Um, and Law of Attraction will say that you're showing lack, you're showing like you're not grateful for anything, so therefore you're not going to get any good things in your life. Um, and then I'll come home. I will literally make my tea and I'm really on the health kick right now. So I'll be um, eating healthy salads and chicken and beef, whatever I've got, I will make sure that it's a healthy meal. And then what I'll do is, uh, well, I basically, I don't watch TV. I used to watch, oh my God, <laughs> so depressing actually. I used to watch so much TV, it's unreal. Don't get me wrong, I like a good film now and again, I really do. Um, inspiring films or something like that, but I don't watch TV. I used to watch Emmerdale. No, started off with Hollyoaks, Emmerdale. I didn't even like Emmerdale, but it came on before Curry, so I just left it on to watch Curry. <laughs> EastEnders. Um, what else? What else crap was there? What is the point of watching other people acts? You know, why don't we just focus on our own lives? Because before long, you're watching other people act and watch somebody that's not even real acting out, you know, a scenario or the, whatever they're doing, and literally you've forgotten about your own life. So I don't have a TV um, anymore. I will literally, if I have to watch something, I'll watch it on catch up. But more often than not, it's probably Love Island, and I really shouldn't say that, but it is a guilty pleasure. So now and again, I'll watch Love Island, but that's the only thing that I watch. Anyway, so 
I was so sick of basically living the box life. So you get out of your box bed, you turn off your box alarm, you have your box breakfast, you get in your box car, and you will um, go to your box office, you'll come home and you'll have your box tea, tea, and then you'll watch your box TV, and then you'll go back to your box bed. I feel like I've done that quite a lot. Um, that's not really living, is it? So I basically think that we a lot of people spend most of their hours watching TV and it really doesn't stimulate the brain. It doesn't show you who you are. You haven't got time to think about who you are or what you want to do in your life. So I basically come home, don't watch TV, and I, I learn. I learn the things that I'm passionate about and I'll be that person. And um, I'll do other things. You know, I'll literally, of course, I have my... I'll have a bath, I'll have my tea, I'll feed my little gorgeous cat and I'll socialise, don't get me wrong, I've got friends and I'll see my friends and things like that. So I just enjoy things that I'm passionate about and I'll read something, maybe a few chapters every night just before I go to bed. Pardon me. What also I've been literally doing for the past few months is meditating. Now meditating, meditation is probably one of those words where people think oh my god i can't do this this is very spiritual but it really isn't it is for everybody all it is i mean i can't just sit there and go hum it's not me i can't i can't do that and i think a lot of people think that's what meditation is it's not quite that um i have to listen to guided meditation which is you can find on youtube and it will help you through it. So basically all it means is that you sit there and you have some peace out for a bit. You have some time out to reflect on your day, reflect on the past week, whatever, or whatever you wanna think about moving forward. So maybe for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, something like that, where you're just peaceful, no one's gonna walk in the room, and you just literally close your eyes and, and gather your thoughts. And that keeps you grounded. Like I said in my previous video, it allows more thoughts, good thoughts, to, and good ideas to come into your mind that you probably would never have thought about before because you, we live busy lives, we're always rushing about, getting to our jobs, busy, busy all day, busy, busy, busy with the kids. Just take them five or ten minutes, just for you. Do it in the bath if you've got kids running around your feet. You know, get in the bath, lock the door, just for them ten minutes. Get your husband to look after them for five minutes, or the other way around. Um, and have that time for yourself. You don't have to listen to the guided meditation, but as long as you take that time out for yourself and gather your thoughts, then jobs are good. And you've um, literally do that every day. Um, and, and yeah, it would really, it really does sort of change your mindset on things. So yeah, that's basically my daily habits. Don't get me wrong, I'm only human. I don't do this religiously every single day, but I will be starting to do this now. Now that I'm talking about it more, I'm more accountable for it. And it does work, it works, but sometimes you, your life does get in the way, like like I say, we're only human. So, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a like up, a like up, a, give it a thumbs up, because it really supports my channel. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe as well, and I will speak to you soon. Love you loads.